So it all started here for you in Orlando. How nice is it to be back out on the floor playing, auditioning for NBA teams? It's nice. You know, it's uh, great to get an opportunity to be in front, be on this stage. You know, a lot of guys kind of give it up after three or four years or two or three years. So I'm glad that I'm still getting an opportunity to show what I can do in an NBA setting. And why not do it in Orlando where it all started, right? Right. Um, you had the injury with the shoulder. One, how is the shoulder? And two, do you feel like this is a better situation for you, a little more mature, a little further down the line in terms of, of your game? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the shoulder, well, first off, the shoulder is doing really good. You know, it's, it's back to 95, 100%. You know, it still can get better as far as strengthening wise, but as far as flexibility and no pain, it feels great. And then also, it's, it's great to, you know, have a couple years under your belt and kind of, you know, be used to what, used to the NBA schemes and what they want defensively and offensively and kind of just, Stepping back and not worrying about trying to score and do all those things, really just worrying about doing the little things that teams look for and minimum level guys or guys that are um, trying to make it. So it's fun. We talk about that. This Indiana Pacer team is, has always kind of looked for that, those those glue guys, those dirty work guys. You feel like that's something you can do for this team? Yeah, definitely. I think I can. You know, um, just trying to find my niche, and I think that may be something that I can find to get myself in the door, you know, knock down open shots and then uh, really sharing the ball offensively and, and doing a little dirty work, things like you say, and being a glue guy because the Pacers kind of hang their hat on that. Now you talked about, you know, having a little more experience. Do you come into this process now with a more with a better comfort level of what you have to do and how it works? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You, like, you know, when you first get on the scene, you kind of want to establish yourself as the type of player that you want to be. But after you've done it a couple of years and you see that maybe that hasn't probably worked, maybe you kind of should adjust your game. And it's easier to adjust your game because people kind of know what you can do anyway. You don't have to always feel like you're auditioning for um, a bigger role. You're just kind of just trying to find your niche and trying to squeeze in the door. And then once you get your foot in the door, just continue to get better from there. Talk about some of your vets that are in there. Certainly, you got Solomon Hill, played a bunch of minutes last year. How big has Solo been in terms of helping you adjust to the system? Well, Solo's been good. You know, it's, it's funny because, you know, <laughs> um, we got drafted the same year, and he's actually a year younger than me, but he still has some good insight because he started in the NBA and he's played, you know, two NBA seasons already. So I've been just uh, kind of staying close to him and learning from him, and um, he can even learn some stuff from me, too. So we're just kind of just bouncing ideas off each other. What do you think of the young fella, Miles? He put up a nice game today. Oh, I love his game. I, I love his game when I first, you know, he went to Texas, I went to Oklahoma, so I let him slide on that. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> um, just talking to him in practice, he's a good kid, and he works really hard, and he's got a lot of talent. I think he's going to be really good in this league. He's just got to continue to work. You giving him some business in practice? <laughs> well, we hadn't really guarded each other. We was on the same team. We was doing really good, actually. So uh, it's going to be fun continuing to play with him this week.